Hello, Simon. Hello, Fernand. Welcome to this lab. This is an analytical lab. So oh, this looks familiar. Oh yeah. So let's tour the lab, okay? And I'm going to ask you some questions, maybe silly questions, on the equipments here, instruments. Okay. So think of it like a mock viva. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, over here, we notice that in front of us. This is a HPLC system. Am I right? Yes, that's right. There are four HPLCs, five HPLCs. Yes, over here. And the first thing I asked questions on day one was, if there isn't any label, how would one know that this is HPLC or GC? Okay, there are two or three ways you might know. Mm. Firstly, a GC, we'll look at one in a moment, mm. has an oven mm. because it's uh, it, it, it uses the oven to control the temperature in, in gas phase temperature. Mm. Uh, this there's nothing here which is an oven. It's liquid pumps, mm. which gives you a big clue that it's uh, liquid chromatography rather than gas chromatography. The other thing is you've got pumps here which are high pressure pumps. Yeah. Now you can't notice that just by looking at it from here, mm. but nonetheless that makes it a high pressure liquid chromatography. Um, there are other giveaways as well. You've got a six port injection valve here which mm. is a high pressure injection valve. So yeah, there's a number of clues that it's, it's liquid chromatography. You've got no gas cylinders, but you've got uh, an eluent reservoir oh. up here. Okay, okay. Another question is, right, um, maybe one might ask, why are there so many modules here? They look almost identical. Um, HPLCs can have multiple channels. So you've got two pump units, you've got uh, two flow units, I think, and uh, that would be the, um, the distribution unit. Uh, when you have for each channel, you have a column and you have um, a different setup. Now, mm. the, the way we run this in the undergraduate practicals that we use it, mm. we usually use only one channel. Okay. Um, the detector settings, which are in here, is multiple wavelength. Okay. So we can have, like, in fact, this is a good example. You've got the detector traces from two different wavelengths here, yes. um, and that's still the same separation, one channel, but two detector channels. Um, from memory, I can't remember, I believe that this detector unit, you can program something like six wavelengths, six channels, but that might be wrong, but a number anyway. Okay, thank you, thank you for the information.